hello everyone and welcome to my channel please if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel thank you very much but please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that it will motivate us to bring you more videos on designs and then don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime a video is dropped on this channel you get the notification you'll be notified now very soon we enter into the love month that is february so we want to take this opportunity and teach how you can make how you can make a valentine's card so we we'll go straight to far to create a new project so i'll go to far and then click on new now this time around we are using four by four four inches by four inches and so i'll click okay the next thing is i'll introduce my color i'll click on it and then select solid color good since valentine the color generally accepted for valentine is red i'll pick my red color i'll pick my red color and then click ok the next thing is i'll introduce my shape and since we are talking about love I'll click on the shape to and then this time around picking the custom shape to since we are talking about love I'll click that small drop arrow and then pick love good now I have my love over there and then I'll come to my work left click and without releasing my hand I'll drag I'll drag so that I can have my love so now I have the shape so I'll change the color to white. I'll click on FX color overlay and then give it a white color. I'll click on the color and then give it a white color. Good. I'll click on it and then click OK. OK. Now I'll do some small adjustment on the shape. So I'll select the shape. This time around, I want to add drop shadow. I'll click on the FX. And then add drop shadow now we will just tackle the distance so as you, you click on the distance you drag to the set of key you drag to right as you drag you monitor your way you are okay with it and you click okay now i think i'm okay with it so i'll click okay i'll click on it again then this time around i'm picking fx i'll go to bevel and embossment and then increase the size that is the only thing we are going to touch that is the size i'll increase it to i increase it to 21 i think 21 is okay all right good then i'll click okay so the next thing is i'll introduce my test so I'll pick the test two, and the test that I'm using is Vivaldi, 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 and the size is 24. The color we we'll pick red. We we'll change the color to red. So I'll pick my red color, but I can use the eye drop to pick the color from the background. Okay, and then click OK. Now you come to your shape and click on it. Then you write your text be my so now I have my first text I'll click commit to commit it I'll bring it with the help of the move to I'll position it well press shift plus alt then increase the size more good I'll position it well okay I'll click control G I'll click on the B mine and then press Ctrl G, Ctrl plus G to duplicate it. So I'll drag it down. Use the text tool. I'll click on the text tool. Right, I'll click on the text tool and then click at the back of the text. Drag, left click without releasing my hand. Drag it so that I can write the next text. Or you can click in between the tests and press ctrl a to select all right valentine good 
now I have my second test I'll click the commit key to commit it click on it and then press shift alt to increase the size small all right I have to position it well Let's position it well good now I have it well position click the commit to commit it then the next thing is I'll draw a line I'll pick the shape to this time around the rectangular to I'll draw a line I'll draw a line then a line then change the color to white I'll click on FX and click on color overlay and then pick click on the color then select a white color good I'll click okay uh, I'll click on it the move to and then press ctrl T to transform it now I'll just turn it the, with the help of the move to I'll pick it and then place it on my work Now I can drag it small shift plus out then drag it all right you have to position it well you have to position it well so that it will look nice all right then so I'll go back to the shape to and select a polygon a polygon now I'm using a three-sided polygon so under the size I'll just type three will then come to my work and then draw I have to change the color I'll click on the foreground color and change it to white good I'll change it to white then draw the polygon I'll draw my polygon a three-sided polygon Good. right now I have my polygon so I have to position it well I have to position it well click the commit to commit it okay, you have to move it so that you get a nice next thing is you click on it and then press ctrl G press ctrl G then you move it up ctrl G is for duplicate so duplicate so I'll pick it and then all right I will use the move to, to turn it turn it so that I can have a nice shape all right you have to take your time and position it well Take your time and position it well. And you press on click on it and then press Ctrl G at the same time to duplicate it. And I'll duplicate it so I'll move it up. Alright. Move the duplicates. Okay. I'll move this one up. All right. I think I have to increase my line. To increase, I'll drag it small just to increase it. All right. All right. You have to take your time. And position everything. Well. Take your time. Position everything. Well. Good. Now I have my. So the next thing is I have to go back to the shape to this time around. I'm going to pick the custom shape and pick lab the lab and come to my work. But I have to change the foreground color, the foreground color to red. Good. And then I'll draw the lab here. 
will now have my lab so we have to position it well bring it somewhere here good have to click on it click on it and then press ctrl j again just to duplicate it I'll duplicate it i'll bring the duplicate somewhere here would i have to duplicate it again ctrl j then move the duplicate somewhere here good now i think it's okay now the next thing is i should have done this before but no problem with that i'll change the foreground color to white Go so that you can see what I'm about to do very well. I'll go to the shape and then click on the shape. I'll click on it and then I have to add layer. So I'll click on add layer. Good. Then I'll pick my brush. I'll go to the Pick my brush, come to my work. Good. I have my brush. So I'll click on it. Right. Right. All right. All right. In fact, this brush is a custom one. I personally designed it. Good. So you can. Brush as many as you want. And brush as many as you want. All right. So the next thing is um. Okay. Click on the move to You go to the. You click on that layer, this layer, the created layer, and then select under the blend. You select overlay, overlay good now in order for it to look nice you reduce the opacity you reduce the opacity reduce the opacity reduce the opacity so that you get a nice way and it will not be disturbed the other one the last thing that we want to do is we want to introduce a rectangle so we go to the ship shape to you right click and pick your rectangle come to your work and draw your rectangle draw your rectangle good good now as you can see the rectangle is covering the entire work so what you do is you click on it and then reduce the fill reduce it to zero good now you come to fx click on fx and then select stroke you increase your stroke so let's see eight nine is okay good so now we are done this is very beautiful and nice simple valentine's card that you can give it to a loved one please if you like what we just do kindly subscribe to our channel so that we'll be motivated to bring you a lot of videos see you another time bye